Hi guys. So you know, I wanted to make a video on a very sensitive topic, uh, which a lot of people don't talk about. Is uh, can you come back to India after doing a master's degree in abroad? Uh, now you could have done a degree in uh, in in the US or Canada or maybe in Europe, and for some reason you could not find a job there. And the, with the scenario that is going on around, you know, from 2019 onwards, is you know as soon as 2020 we came to 2020. uh covid struck then hiring got uh, hiring freezes were there then there are visa issues there are visa delays then people are getting fired due to inflation specifically in the us and uh, th- there is problem getting jobs in the in europe because a lot of countries do not consider non europeans uh, so uh, a lot of these issues can be in, uh, in your life and you you could have done a masters degree and now uh you are finding it hard to get a job in uh, in your field and now this i am specifically top, talking about people who are doing who have done masters in uh you know uh, ai analytics data science business analytics right so these are the technologies that i am talking about because i have experience in these fields only and i can talk about them uh the the thing is that uh, what i've seen is uh, what a misconception that specifically indians have is uh, you know you can't land up a job in india uh, which is high paying uh, after doing a masters degree from abroad and uh, i think that might have been the case in the last you know if you saw the indian you know industry uh, tech industry in you know uh, in you know maybe 2015 or 13 something like that but i have now from the last 3 4 years seen that you know you can get a job a very good paying job in india after doing a masters from abroad and your skills and your masters is appreciated in india rather than saying thinking of the fact that you you did a masters degree abroad why do you want a job in india right so nobody is going to ask you this question now specifically uh, people in peer pressure or you know parental pressure or some or the other thing keep finding jobs keep looking for jobs you know keep searching jobs after their masters is ended and they are not landing up any job in india and you know i mean uh, in 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 the country that they did did their masters in and uh, they essentially start doing uh, part time and all of that and they literally waste one or two uh, you know more than 1.5 years in just searching for a job and or doing a job that is not uh, in the area that they did in mas- they did their masters in right now that is a big problem because if you do that and if you then come back to india because you couldn't land up a job in abroad then uh, you know recruiters start to think that why is this they, they have a career gap or something like that right so uh, till one year it is fine but after that you know it becomes a problem now uh, the fact that uh, what people think is if you go back to india uh, after doing a masters uh, then you won't get high pay yes this is true only in the case of mass recruiting companies but you should not aim those mass recruiting companies because now that time has passed you should look for companies that a lot of companies in bangalore chennai hyderabad are hiring and even in noida that have bases in the us and they have uh, uh, established their office in india and they are paying quite well now the, the the reasonable amount of salary that any company is giving freshers who have done masters abroad in data science analytics and come back to india is would be around you know uh, six starting from 6 lakhs going till 8 lakhs for freshers and uh, going till 18 lakhs to people who have one to two years experience specifically in data science analytics and machine learning right so that is the uh, you know scenario current scenario in the indian tech industry so you know people should not think that uh, if you go back with a masters from abroad to india your life is finished or you won't get a job you won't get a good paying job uh, you won't get your profile actually it's quite opposite because in india the machine learning and data science and ai field jobs are much more much more than anywhere in the world if you go to nokri.com that is one of the premium sites to look for jobs in india the amount of jobs that get posted in one day would be you know more than any country in this world uh, posting jobs right for this specific field so i'll show you examples so earlier i had made a video on is a masters required for uh, going transitioning into data science or not and i had shown you jobs that did not require any degree essentially but today i wanted to make a video on the fact that people have uh, So for people who have done masters and they are uh, you know finding it hard to land up a job in abroad and who have come back to india and they might be in a position that they want to go for a job but they want to go for a job in which uh, their masters degree is you know valued 
and that is specifically the case for companies uh, now which are being set up in bangalore chennai hyderabad and you know uh, noida now and uh, they value their master degree so now if you specifically want to find a job that is related to data science and they want a requirement of you having a master's degree how do you do so so i'll show you examples of uh, you know how how you can do that and how, uh, how you can land up a job that might require master's degree specifically in the field of ai now if you go for uh, the the you know site called nokri.com in india and there is a specific filter for this so we shall write you know data science and we can write uh, you know machine learning machine learning data science right and we can select the experience maybe you know for freshers not freshers then we can first select for people who have at least one year of experience right in the field of data science we'll see for few examples for people who have one year experience or maybe zero years experience because you know jobs that require one year experience also consider people having jobs uh, people having zero experience zero years experience right now where the filter is so if you see on the left hand side there is a filter of salary so i won't uh, recommend anybody clicking on the salary range because a lot of companies right you know uh, not disclose for the simple fact that they can pay a lot of money right so that is there now go to education and just select ms and msc so ms specifically is the term that is used in us uh, for masters and msc is used in india as well as abroad and mtech is also used in india so you can click mtech and msc both because these these filters will only give jobs which uh, require a higher degree right the specific roles in companies and specific positions right so for example if we see principal data scientist senior data scientist nlc right this one we can just go and check if they have a specific requirement of master right so it has see 0 to 5 years experience so you don't need experience right now we go down these are all the requirements now so b tech m tech right m tech right m tech they have written if they have written m tech it means they are considering ms as well right so m tech in electronics communication computers all of that right so m tech means it's equivalent to ms right doctorate not required that is good now you know we can go down and see which other company these are a lot of so i would recommend people going for companies that are you know lesser known because the hiring processes are very fast there and uh, you know uh, the companies that that are you know bigger in stature take a lot of time in hiring so uh, and the process is too long so you see here artificial intelligence machine learning computer vision so if we go here So you know they have given salary is not disclosed, which means that it can be uh, a lot, right? It, it they don't have a range, which means it depends on the candidate. Now you see here it is written M Tech in computers, M S M S in math, physics, computers. So M S means you know you can have a degree from abroad. M Tech also means that uh, they are considering people from M S. So these are few examples that I wanted to show you. So just keep in mind that if you are not finding a job. in uh, you know masters after doing masters in ai specifically analytics due to some or the other reason your life is not finished you can come back to india and get a good paying job in india and just forget about the people who tell you that you know if you go back to india you won't find a job without a referral you can't uh, uh, get a job that is high paying just don't apply to mass recruiting companies apply to companies that are there in nokri.com which i already showed there are a lot of companies and you know do not listen to people who say that uh, you know it is very difficult to get a job in india you you have to stay in abroad the problem with staying in abroad and job searching for you know more than one year is having a career gap in your resume which is very bad later on in life for india right if in, for some reason you 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 have budget constraints and then after 1.5 or 2 years you come back to india then it is a problem for you if you if you can you know come before that and get a job it's very good and you will have a core machine learning ai data science job in india with which is paying you know a lot of money 
based on the indian context i have seen from my own eyes there was one office that was hiring 200 data scientists at one time that was a uk based company that had just opened their office in bangalore right so just i think the myth that people have that doing masters in abroad and going back to india you know is is a walk of shame or you know uh, uh, everybody will tell you that oh you couldn't get a job in abroad uh, what is wrong with you that just don't pay any attention just go back to india get a job in your core field and you know you build your experience there and later on you might have a chance to go on a work permit uh, i have also made a video on how to get a work permit directly from india so that is also sorted uh, later on if you would want to you know you can get your visa renewed from that country and come back that is also there and if you want to settle happily in india that is not a problem because i think today in today's context the number of ai and data data analytics jobs that india has and the number of jobs that are being posted in india at any given day lot more lot more than any country in the world right so this is just a you know uh, kind of good information for people who want to go for data analytics uh, jobs and they are having hard time getting job in abroad because it's very different to get a job in abroad and getting a job in india everybody knows right so this is for those people so they should not lose hope that they are not getting a job in ai in analytics in abroad they should come back to india start working and get a good package and mostly they'll get a good package until they are, they should not just apply to you know mass recruiting from just leave that if any other company just apply to them right so this i hope this uh, video is informative and i have also posted a link in the description of how if you if you are, are uh, you know uh, successful in going back to india getting a job then how to get a work permit job uh, outside india again if you in few years you want to go back to abroad again right so i have posted that link in, in the description uh, please feel free to watch and if anybody wants to connect with me i have given my linkedin uh, id as well so you can connect and ask for doubts thank you so much i hope this video was informative and uh, you know uh, have a good day bye